Hi moms. So today I'm back with my maths activity sheets and we all know that one of the major concern that comes to us as a parent is when it comes to toddlers is how to introduce number sense and when it comes to kindergartners and preschoolers it is how to introduce addition and subtraction. So that's my topic for today and let's get started. My first sheet talks about number sense that's mainly for toddlers. How do you introduce number sense? We introduce number sense to various methods. Those are interesting, those are easy, and those can be found at home. Let me show you. Yep, I've created this little plate. I have blocks, I have pom pom, shells, objects, block again, a jenga, some popsicles, some digits, some scrabble, bottle caps. That's what I've written here. And of course, fingers, dices, dominoes, there are a lot many ways. Buttons, whatever way you want to pick up. If your kid doesn't understand one way, you pick up any other object and introduce them numbers. Once they are introduced, I would want you to try this one simple activity that I've created for them. And that is this. If you see, it just has dots here, nothing more. All you need to do is, Call out a random number and tell your little one to circle it. Example, you say 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So they are supposed to circle it like this. I have already done a 3 to show you. You say 2, so they do the 2 over here. This is how you check your toddlers if they are able to understand. You can make colorful dots too. I kept it gray so that it's a little more interesting for them to actually understand the counting. Colorful makes it too vibrant for them to get confused. So this is for the toddlers. Now my next sheet focuses more on the surrounding examples that's going to help your preschoolers and kindergartners to learn addition. And it's a very interesting idea. You're going to love it for sure. Complete the exercise. This exercise helps children to understand the essence of numerical addition as an act of an argumentation including something more than existing. My these activities have been associated with something of our daily lives. Something they know about. Something they must have tried. Something they have seen. For example, they are all in black and white. What is this? It's easy for you to recognize, right? This is a cupcake. I have done a simple idea here. I have put the cream here and I put the cup here. And I put an addition sign here. All the little one needs to understand this sign and create this pattern over here. So what does that mean? When you add the cream on the cup, it becomes cupcake. When you add the kite with the string, it becomes the kite with the string. When you add the tree with the big log, it becomes a tree. When you add the circle with rays, it becomes the sun. And then they can color it. So this is what we are trying to put here in a playway method where the kid is not taught maths in a numeric manner, but is taught maths in a manner where he or she can associate. And this is what I want them to do because here they can relate to. They know when they go out, they see a tree and they see a log and they know how a tree looks. So they know they're supposed to add it. It will make a complete tree. Similarly goes for the sun. They've done a lot of sketches, they've done a lot of drawings, they have seen on the television, they see it every day, there's always a circle and a ray. So they know that when both are combined together, it makes a sun. So what are we trying to indirectly teach them? We're trying to teach them that this plus this makes a sun. Similarly, when they are very much easy to recognize this, they would know how to go around for addition. My second sheet. My second sheet is also almost similar. Here I have made a lower part of the house and the roof. So you need to tell your kid to complete this pattern and I'm telling you they will just look at the picture and they'll understand and once they understand this concept they know what addition means and then I'm telling you they're going to have a good time to do it. Here I have put a signal lights and this here. 
Here I have done the ship and the, and the last one is a truck with its wheels. I really want you to try these activities and let me know what your little one's response was. Similarly, I've done for subtraction. I have made a flower with four. Here, if they remove these two, only these two, so it's a minus sign here. So if they do it, it's going to be like this. This is not going to be there. It's just going to be like this. This, 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 this. These three parts are not going to be there. When it comes to umbrella, the lower part is removed. Only this is left. So that means they only need to draw the upper part. Similar goes for the flower part. The minus sign means removing. So they know subtraction means removing. Addition means adding. So now the final sheet here talks about both addition and subtraction. The surprising part about this sheet is all these questions have something odd that needs to be removed and something has to be added. So let's start with the first question here where you see a car with a triangle. There's a blank here. That means there's a symbol supposed to come here with these two triangles here plus again a symbol and two circles giving us a full car. So that means the child has to understand what has to be subtracted and added to give us a full car. So if the minus sign comes here, that means these two tires that are triangle will be removed plus sign will give the round tires will be placed giving us a full car. Now this one is different from this one. It has a minus sign some space here for us to add something plus the flower equals to flower in the pot. Have you ever seen a fish in the pot? Nope, I haven't. Here, the kid is supposed to subtract, that's minus, the object. So, the remaining object has to be added with the flower, giving it a flower pot. So, here... They have to draw a fish. Absolutely. When the fish is minus from the pot, add it with a flower, giving a flower pot. Now the final one here. Here the aeroplane along with the water, minus sign, again water, plus sign, a gap equals to what? So here the kid is supposed to minus the water. Plus what gives us clouds and the aeroplane together. And that is what's supposed to come here. Tell me. Yes, it's the clouds. This is a little twisty sort of exercise. So once the kids are familiar with the previous exercises that I have shared, only then try it with the preschoolers and kindergartners. Make it a little easy with something else. Do not go with all the three at the same time. Try with one first, making two, three ideas related to this, followed by this, followed by this. Please do not straight away give them. We do not need to hurry. We just need to teach them the basics of addition and subtraction. Once they are familiar with that, it's going to make them very easy to understand match numbers along addition and subtraction. Subscribe to my channel. Send me a screenshot. The email ID will be mentioned in the description box of my channel and receive these free sheets to try with your little one. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.